I was waiting under the trees, and then Winnie came over, and the two of us, you know, we stood together and commiserated about what we were both about to do. And then uh, we saw Florence, and, uh, and then she went down the ladder and started off on her swim. Marilyn dives in a minute later, and Winnie is next. Then the confusion begins. And Gus had said to me, swim, when you dive in, when you get in the water, just swim north out of the Niagara River and we'll find you. And that's what I did. I don't, know, I don't recall how long it was before he found me. It was endless in my head, you know, because I was petrified. Marilyn Bell was born October 19, 1937 in Toronto, Ontario. She started her career in swimming as a sprinter, but later switched to marathon swimming with the help of her coach, Gus Ryder. On September 8, 1954, Marilyn Bell began her swim across Lake Ontario. The journey began in Youngstown, New York, and was to finish in Toronto. She swam against Florence Chadwick, the world-famous American long-distance swimmer. Florence Chadwick was offered $10,000 to swim the lake as an effort for the annual exhibition. Marilyn Bell took on this challenge without the interest of a cash prize. During the swim, Chadwick gave up due to stomach pains and vomiting, along with exhaustion. That meant if Bell finished the course, she would be the first Canadian ever to swim the 51.5 kilometer distance. It took Bell 20 hours and 57 minutes to reach the breakwater near the Boulevard Club. The water she swam in was only 18 degrees and there were lamprey eels attacking her as she swam. Bell had to take an alternate route due to strong winds and lack of navigation equipment. During the swim, she was not allowed to touch the boat or crew. If she did, she would be disqualified. This meant anytime she needed food or water, they had to come up with creative ways to get her what she needed without touching her. When Marilyn Bell arrived to the breakwater at approximately 8.15 p.m., there were 300,000 people cheering her on. Her swim ended at Sunnyside Waterfront in Toronto, now known as Marilyn Bell Park. In 1955, Marilyn Bell became the youngest person to swim the English Channel. In 1956, she swam the Strait of Juan de Fuca off the Pacific Northwest Coast. Bell was inducted into the Canada Sports Hall of Fame in 1958. In 1993, she entered the Canadian Swimming Hall of Fame and was named one of Canada's top athletes of the century. In 2003, Marilyn Bell was presented with the Order of Ontario, an award that honors any current or former long-term resident of Ontario who has demonstrated a high level of individual excellence and achievement in any field. All three swimmers have high hopes of making the crossing safely, but soon only one swimmer will remain. In the dark of night, Marilyn feels alone and lost. It was in July that Marilyn Bell of Toronto swam the channel from France to England in 14 hours, 36 minutes. Now she's just had a tumultuous welcome in her hometown.